Well, welcome back to another episode. Welcome to the channel. My name is Rich, and uh, we just launched on the upper Ashley River here in South Carolina. First time ever fishing here, and uh, we're gonna be after some riverine or river, river, riverine, or <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm not, probably not saying it right, or just river stripers uh, this morning, or today, not just this morning, we're gonna fish as long as it takes until we can hopefully find uh, some striped bass in the Ashley today. And uh, at one point, back in our history, there was a native population of uh, stripers running up this river to spawn, but over time that uh, population depleted to, to a point where there was like very few to like none left in the river. But uh, thanks to South Carolina uh, stocking, stripers over the last like 15 years or so maybe a little bit longer uh there's supposedly some stripers still to be caught in the ashley river so that is uh our main target species for the day but uh we also have a shot at probably some largemouth bass bowfin uh, i mean who knows there could there is a, a tidal section that we're going to go down to and there might even be some redfish or trout so i'm going to be game to catch whatever's willing to bite so let's just uh, start this adventure off right and uh, see what we can find, so stay tuned. All right, well to start, we just uh, came down river about a quarter mile and it is chilly, chilly. Probably only about 45 degrees. That's why we got the pants, the sweatshirt, and the beanie on. And uh, of course, because it's early, we've got to start with a little Rapala topwater spook type plug. See if we can get on some topwater action. Got a nice uh, tree laying down right there and I, yeah we'll just uh try and stay on the move as much as possible work this top water for like the next like 30 minutes or so see if we get any kind of surface activity and uh, we don't really have a, a whole lot of current for a river right now and i'm not really sure how much the tide down river or up here like is going to influence the current that we have so we'll just have to see what happens as the day unfolds and uh, I believe that it's around high slack right now so that could be why we don't have a whole lot of current and it would be really cool to see if like this current picks up on the outgoing and uh, then it might uh, like dictate where striper is going to be holding on some structure like I'd imagine like on this tree here on the outgoing like you know stripers would probably sit right behind it <laughs> check out this sign it's like almost underwater. So I think that is gonna tell me that this tide is probably pretty pretty high right now and that's why <laughs> the, it's, the sign is almost covered. Hmm, starting to notice some current along these pilings here. That's a good sign. The tide's probably starting to go out. And uh, you know, we'll probably throw this top order for like another 30 minutes or so it's nice that we've got like a good shadow line so most of this river is still being covered from the Sun which uh, I believe will lengthen the any kind of top water activity come on fish come on come on come on come on oh no I'm just kidding <laughs> Ooh, this point here looks pretty good Nice little rip going around it. Come on, fish, come on. I'm surprised I haven't had like at least even a largemouth bass come up and nail this or a bowfin 
because supposedly they're in this stretch of the river, but they might be like really tight to the grass too. Something big that just hit on top. Down river there, you see those wakes? Huh. It almost looked like dolphins. Hey, we've got dolphins right here. That's crazy. They're coming way up river into like this brackish section. Oh, there he is. Hmm. All right, well, I think it's time to put the top water down for a little while. So we're going to clip that off and I think switch to, check this out, this is the prototype 4 inch Fishaholic Finback Shad. So basically like the new baby little brother to the Fishaholic Shad lineup that uh, is coming soon. And I think this might be the perfect little bite sized morsel for any stripers that are in this river or maybe some trout or redfish now that we're getting further down and you know we just saw some dolphins so I wouldn't be surprised if there's redfish or trout up in this area oh my gosh this little bay looks so juicy the action is oh so good lots of flash lots of body wobble tail kicking action oh this is gonna kick some butt Oh, got an alligator right here. Oh, something just hit the surface right there. I don't know if you can see the alligator. He was just there, he just went down. Looked like a, you know, six, seven footer. <clears throat> got some wood structure on this side of the river that looks pretty good. If it's got some good depth, I can see stripers sitting on this structure. Well, I don't know if it's because we saw the gator just a moment ago or that it's getting hot out here, but whew, I'm starting to sweat some bullets in these pants. Holy sh There's an alligator. Another gator right there. Damn, oh, that was cool. All right, well, pretty futile. And I would say we're down river here now, about two miles actually. And I'm really surprised there was nothing on the wood structure, a single bite. And we actually went further down river and there's some more like similar structure like that, like a lot of it and uh, same thing, no bites at all. But uh, maybe we're just hitting it at the wrong time of the day, wrong time of the tide, uh, who knows. But uh, we're gonna start heading back up river and I think uh, head towards that area where we had some docks uh, along the river and we'll fish that structure, see if uh, we can do any better. And uh, then I guess just start working our way back to the launch. It's uh, gonna be a shame if we come out here on a, such a gorgeous day fishing like such a pristine river like I haven't had one single boat out here past me just like a couple other kayakers it's just been so nice out here and uh, like I'm liking like the structure and I'm liking like the depth of water we have um, but uh, it's just it seems like there's not a whole lot of fish but we'll just keep at it and, uh, and you know see what happens so let's do it oh my gosh check this out guys A snake right here I'm trying to swallow a giant mullet look at that guy oh my gosh he's a greedy little fella comment down below if you can guess what kind of snake that is it's kind of hard to tell but like that looks like a giant mullet that this little snake is trying to engulf Let's see if I can scoop him up Oh my gosh, he can't even, he can't even flee because, oh, there he goes. Because that mullet is so big. Oh my gosh. There he goes. I saw an eagle flying overhead before, which was kind of cool. Like, 
he's probably gonna be looking to pick up that snake. <laughs> grab, grab, it'll be a two for one. And uh, yeah, finally, an hour later, it's like 1.30 now. We're uh, back up river by some of the docks and uh, I actually ran into a subscriber out here on the water down river a little bit. He's sitting in his kayak uh, about to start fishing. Uh, huge shout out to Skip. Uh, and he was just giving me some tips on the river here. And you know, he said primarily actually like catfish is the main catch in here. There's also some bass. And um, you know, on a sign I saw there was, you know, a chance for some bowfin. Um, but he's also mentioned uh, that the striped bass, most of them are way up river, like into the lake, which is, it could explain why uh, we haven't had any striper at all today or like no signs of any striper, which, uh, is unfortunate but you know there's always a reason so at least we still fished it hard and now I would like to just you know throw this rappel of scatter wrap I guess around some of these docks on our way back to the launch and see if we can at least maybe nail some nice bass we are in South Carolina after all so who knows maybe we'll get lucky with uh, a big old largemouth which would be pretty sweet All right, we are back at the launch. This little uh, like kayak uh, ramp here is pretty sweet. <laughs> it was uh, so easy just to like pull these bars and then just slide the kayak right up out of the water. And I uh, got some good news. Even though we didn't catch any fish, uh, I just got a call from the mechanic uh, Noah over at East Coast Outboards that uh, the Fishaholic rig is ready to be picked up. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna load up the kayak and hope to get to the shop before they close at like five and uh, I'm gonna then I guess talk with Noah and see if he can like talk with you guys talk with the camera and uh, Kind of explain exactly like what was wrong with uh, the engine and uh, why it was not uh, getting fuel and uh, Yeah, I guess that should be pretty cool. Was, I, I hope for better that we catch some fish today, but uh, it's, it's not always the way it works. So let's uh, get the kayak loaded up and hit the road <laughs> Well, we made it to East Coast Outboards, and uh, here's the girl right here. I'm gonna go, uh, I guess, find Noah and uh, see if he has some time to kind of explain to me and to us, you guys, uh, exactly what was wrong and what he did that uh, got the old Suzuki four stroke back up and running. So I'm gonna go find him. Hey, you seem like you're working like a madman. Super busy. Right, Pick 12 volts to the pump. And Run. Run. 12.4 volts and no pump right now. Yeah, and the pump's not working at all. No. And we can bypass the wires, go directly to the pump. Still nothing. Nothing at all, wow. Volts. So definitely a manufacturer defect on the new pump that I had put in from Butler Marine. But uh, really appreciate it, Noah. Thank you of course. so no much. Problem. And uh, get you back out there. Yeah, and check out East Coast Outboards, guys. And uh, I'm gonna go, Noah has a lot of work. This is Noah, by the way. Say what's hey, up. <laughs> and, and he's got a ton of work, so I'll kind of go over everything that mm -hmm. Noah did and how basically I'm, we might take the boat out right now, actually, <laughs> just to get on the water, so. Yeah, huge thank you. Yeah, no problem, thank you. Yep, later no such a great guy he uh really has been uh huge help and uh and actually i'd like to mention that i actually picked the boat up yesterday and uh he he ran the engine and the engine ran and seemed fine but then i was gonna take it to the water yesterday but what ended up happening is one of the hubs on the tires Totally like was was ready to fall off on our way back. So I had to 
pull this tire off and basically drive back here with three tires and uh, then you know after Noah replaced this this hub here and then he also did this one because um, unfortunately somehow when we were on the highway this tire came loose and it it uh, basically stripped some of the threads on the old hub and uh, oh that looks so nice it's brand new too um, yeah so on another tire like this was all stripped and then on the threads it was stripped as well so I figured I'd get, get a new hub on here. Luckily this one was still good enough so this tire could stay on yesterday so I could drive the boat back here. But um, you know, after he replaced the hubs, then um, he decided just to run the engine again to, to give it a second go, like why not? And uh, he, it, it, he had it idling for like a minute he said, and then it just cut out. Uh, so some, you know, I guess somehow in the yard here he found a fairly new used pump and he installed that and the engine runs great now. And the next step for us is to probably bring this brand new pump here that uh, he just tested back to Butler Marine, which was the original mechanics that installed this. But uh, you know, it, it's just you know a defect pump for whatever reason. So hopefully there's like a warranty under it, uh, manufacturer warranty, so we could bring it back and they'll either give us a brand new one or they can refund me my money. I'd actually hope that they could just, you know, give me a brand new one and then I'll have it for like safekeeping so uh, we could, you know, have a backup and eventually, you know, learn how to change out the fuel pump uh, myself. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what uh, kind of went down with uh, the engine being fuel starved. Um, you know, while we were out on the water and uh, it's been like a really frustrating situation since uh, getting the boat. So I'm glad that maybe now we can uh, get out and uh, have some more, some smoother riding out there on the water. So I'm going to quit talking, hook up the boat and uh, it's a little after four o'clock right now. I'm exhausted because like kayaking today was 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 exhausting <laughs> and we didn't catch anything but uh, we're so close to uh, the Wando I'm thinking why don't why don't we just throw it in and and go out there and see if we can catch something so I'm gonna stop talking see if I can recharge the batteries a little bit hook the boat up and we're gonna go uh, pop it in the water so I'll see you guys there <laughs> Boat is in, we're in the boat. Now let's put some fish in the boat. minutes later we're on the spot that run right there just made me so happy so <laughs> we're, let's drop anchor and uh, we're gonna try fishing some of the docks here I want to use the uh, Ulterra but uh, unfortunately I haven't finished the uh, 
under deck wiring yet and don't even have the batteries yet so uh, we can't use that and like use spot lock or anything. Well, let's start fishing. I'm gonna start with the four inch Fishaholic Finback Shad prototype. Looks like we still got a little trickle of incoming water, but it's slow, like it's slowing down. So it looks good. Like, I feel like this is a, a peak time when we might have a chance of finding some fish or getting bit at least. money cash right there. Somehow I snuck it right into the shadow line under that dock way over there. And I'm just gonna let it sink to the bottom and hop it along. That's where I think some reds will be. But also, who knows, maybe a flounder or a trout, whatever willing, whatever's willing to bite. Like I just wanna catch at least one fish today. Like, oh, I, like it's been like a really great day in terms of just like, you know, being on the water all day, enjoying the beauty of South Carolina and then getting the boat back and uh, finally being able to uh, make a successful run. Oh, just got bit, I think. Right, well, I think that is about a wrap. Unfortunately, we could not catch a fish this evening. Uh, you know, I don't know why, but I can say maybe because of the tide being high, maybe a lot of the fish are pushed up into the grass, but uh, we threw a bunch of different soft plastics, not just the Fishaholic Finback, and uh, we had just some little nibbles on the tails. And when I was looking at the tails, it had like little teeth marks, so maybe some snapper blues were biting at it, or little trout maybe. But uh, I'm starting to shiver because the clouds are rolling in and we're supposed to get some kind of storm tomorrow. So I kind of want to get off the water now. Uh, you know, we fished all day pretty much. Uh, I got up at like 4.45, 5 a.m. Haven't eaten anything since six when I had some sausage and scrambled eggs. So yeah, I am starving. And uh, you know, I think still fishing mission accomplished for the day, because even though we didn't catch anything really uh but uh the spot that we kayak fished i've wanted to try for quite some time finally we hit it and uh, now we can scratch it off the list because i probably won't go back even though it was an enjoyable you know pedal down you know the river and we saw some alligators saw some eagles and saw the snake choking on a mullet um you know we didn't catch any fish but i did learn that uh you know maybe if we do fish the ashley river again maybe try launching further down river and or maybe going up into the lake where supposedly there's stripers uh so we'll have to just uh you know hit somewhere else um another day but uh i'm glad we got the rig back finally and we were able to race to this spot even though we didn't catch anything and uh, hopefully she stays good for a while now i'm gonna cross everything i got so now all we have to do is get the electric motor up and running and uh, hopefully the next time you see me on the rig out on the water we're out on it all today catching some fish and having a blast so definitely uh, hit the like button the subscribe button to stay tuned and i am going to sign out here and thank you for watching and like always live to fish fish to live <laughs>